Hey guys, Jordan here, and today I'm going to be looking at the Beast Wars drill bit. Uh, Beast Wars was a Transformers line back in the 90s, where the Transformers all took on animal shapes instead of vehicle shapes. And I was feeling nostalgic the other day, so I ended up going and picking up uh, some Beast Wars figures. Uh, I know I used to have Cheetor and Optimus Primal, uh, but they broke or I gave them away or something when I was little. Um, but yeah, uh, the first new Beast Wars figure that I picked up was Drillbit, and he is a Predacon, and he is a his animal form is a Boar Weevil. So you can see here, you can flip the drill back in between there, so he looks more like just a regular Boar Weevil here with his little antennas. He's got all his insect legs. Or you can flip it forward, and then he has the drill, and it's kind of cool, it has a wheel on the bottom that actually makes the drill spin right there, but I think it's supposed to spin, like, on the ground. It's kind of hard to make it do that. You can see it's kind of doing it there. This also isn't the best surface for it either, but it's kind of nifty, just a cool little gimmick. Um, so yeah, the, this is the animal, the beast mode for it, and then, uh, it's actually pretty simple to change it back into a regular transformer, like the robot mode. So you can see on the underside, the legs are there, you can see this, this is actually an arm down here, and then the drill bit here is also an arm. So the first thing to do is kind of move this out of the way so you can move the legs up. And then you can see there's this part here for this. And you just slide it around. So then this is in the arm position. And then I flip back the legs here, these side legs, to get them out of the way. Or first I have to move the other arm, sorry, on that pivot. Then flip this leg out of the way, make sure the arms are sticking out. And then here, that's actually the back of Drillbit's head. So you pull on the legs here, and you rotate it, and you push the head through, and just flip it around. And there's a peg here, you can see the peg there, and then here is a peg hole. So you just line it up, and get that lined up there, and then you just kind of position the arms how you want them. So there you see, like, not a very difficult transformation or anything, just really, really basic. So now he is in his robot mode. Let's see if we can get him to stand. So yeah, so you see his other legs are sticking back there. He's got his drill bit there, his other hand, and then his head right there. So pretty cool. Uh, the eyes really pop out, both in the beast mode and the robot mode. So I really like that. Uh, the purple is kind of goofy looking. Uh, I've seen another version of this figure where the legs are black, and I've heard some people paint their legs black. Uh, just to make it look a little better. But, you know, I'm really not very picky about it. Like, I think the purple is fine. Just a little goofy looking, but... I mean, it's robots turning animals into animals, so that's pretty goofy looking on its own. Uh, one thing I really do like, uh, like I was saying before, the eyes... These are the eyes for him when he's in beast mode. Uh, and they really pop. And I also like the detail on the shell here. Um, it looks like there's s spots of, uh, amber or something just sticking up all around, and it's pretty well detailed for being a little, uh, pretty small figure. Uh, there's good detail in the shell. Uh, there's texture on the arms and everything, like all the purple parts have lines going through it just to add texture. Um, so yeah, it's a very basic Transformer figure, um... 
Like, there are definitely more complex ones, some cooler ones. Uh, but I still like this guy. Um, if you're just looking for a basic Beast Wars figure to add to your collection, then I'd say this is a good one to do. It's simple. Uh, it's fun. It's got the nifty little gimmick. Like, if you get it positioned right and you get a better surface, then it works a little better. But I do like that. <laughs> kind of entertaining just to roll him around at people with Drill First. And the transformation on it is real simple, so even if you're thinking about a Transformers gift for a younger person, then this is one that they really wouldn't have much difficulty with at all. So, I'd definitely recommend this guy. So, this has been my review on the Beast Wars Drill Bit figure. Hope you guys enjoyed, and please comment, rate, and subscribe.